over the four months we worked together, did you feel that you've achieved those goals that we set out yep. at the start? 100%. Oh. This, this morning, 72 yeah. kilos this morning. Before I went on holiday, I was 71.3, I think. So, I mean, I'll still get down to 70, but it's just a yeah. case of as and when. Doing the 100 mile rides, I think I've done two. So I'm back on to doing my one 100 mile ride once a month. I've now set myself goals of doing the Fred again, Fred Whitten, the Fred Whitten Challenge. FTP's back to what I'd considered to be on the way up to where it should be. So it's yeah. it was 242, I think, when we started. Yeah. And we're now up to the latest test was 265 watts. Yeah, which right. is okay. Yeah. I mean, obviously it can go higher, so but that's okay. It's on the way up. It's okay. Yeah. This time of year, that's okay. When I'm coming from three years of inconsistent riding almost. You've given me the building blocks, definitely, to understand what it to be a cyclist. Obviously, I've signed up for a challenge. The proof will be in the pudding, but you literally have given me every tool, every building block from diet books to you know, on hand. If I need you, if I've had a bit of a problem, you're just that at the end of the phone. It's been a really great journey. But for me, I think the accountability is what I needed most. Is there have been days when I've been so busy at work. I've got home at eight o'clock and I thought, oh, really, you know, I still need to do my gym. And it's like, so even though I maybe haven't gone down to the gym, I've used my gym equipment at home and push for an extra set if I haven't got the extra weight. I know ultimately I'm answerable to myself, but you'd be looking at my app going, why hasn't she done a weight session today? <laughs> but it's great. And I think everybody, you know, just needs that initial bit of motivation and the feedback and the reward. You've helped me a lot through what's been going on behind the scenes a little bit not just from a physical well-being from my mental well-being the cold bath but yeah it does refocus helps for recovery and i need the cold shower every morning is definitely something i will continue with but i've really enjoyed working with you and hopefully we can then continue in the future the confidence that you've set me up with the tools to be able to have confidence in myself and rather than the bombardment of oh, i'll try this i'll try that You've made it very simple for me, I think. That's, if you put the work in and you just follow the basics, nutrition, rest, and a good amount of balanced training. You know, So I would do my easy rides to work and back and my early week, you know, zone one rides and then your zone two rides and then your, you know, your hard, your hard threshold rides mm -hmm. and then, but then recover and then eat well. And, you know, it all came in together, you know, the, the Hexis app, that all gave me a, you know, what to to fuel on and, you know, because I would be like, just eat carbs all the time. And, and then it's like, you don't need to when you're not training so hard. So yeah, it's just given me the confidence moving forward. The whole process has been, has been very positive, been very positive. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually been easy to follow the program. Um, I like the program. I like the way it's presented. Um, the whole way the exercises are laid out it's perfect for me with the videos I actually need to look at a video to see how something is done properly so i found that i found that very good it's i, I it's it's very easy to follow and yeah yeah the, yeah, yeah definitely the whole the whole process very very happy with it very happy with it and would have no trouble recommending it yeah, we've been working together about five months, so mm. where would you put yourself now in comparison to where you started from? Well, like they've lost five, six kilos. I did a sportif just two or three weeks ago, the London Yorkshire one. I took 58 minutes that time. That actually travelling time as well. I actually took longer off because when I looked at my time of stops, of stops where I did it first time, I had a lot longer stop this time I had, so like 20 minutes to stop. So it was like literally in, toilet break, fill up, go. Yeah. When I looked at the weather impact of last year, the weather impact of last year were actually 5%, this year were 4%, so it was like 1% different. Yeah. So it's made a huge difference. Even now, I did a, a, another sport piece, and I think I was. 48 minutes faster. You've got to put the work in, but if you don't, you ain't going to get it. But for me, when you invest in somewhere, you've got to be committed. I have been committed 
all the way. I, I wanted this. And if I don't get on, you're, you're dead easy to get on with. Easy going, very encouraging, very supportive. And, and, and yeah, I've, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I've, I'd love to stay yeah. months and months, but you know, it's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a pleasure absolutely tra- training you down and get to know you. You know, what was nice, we managed to catch up in person as well, which was good. It was good. It was really great to meet you in person and it's been a joy to you know, train you. Can you describe your top goals that you had when you started to work with? To obviously be able to recover after a long cycle and I wanted to sort of lean up. I didn't necessarily want to be skinny. Can you list your achievements that you've achieved so far? So my achievements is I've gone from cycling maybe 15 to 20 miles and, and struggling to recover from that to now doubling that distance. I'm cycling three times a week, increased in my weightlifting in the gym, become stronger, my cardio has definitely improved my heart rate recovers quicker and that's been picked up by my apple watch and yeah and and i feel fitter healthier i'm eating well even though i've not necessarily lost weight i can definitely see my body is changing just putting clothes on and things you can just see that you can have starting to show through again and everything's sort of toning up so i'm kind of definitely seeing a difference in my body shape i feel strong i feel healthy i'm eating well i'm cycling 40 miles last week on a Monday and I recovered, came into work in the evening. That's unheard of. Normally I would have had to go to bed. <laughs> I'm like doing a long ride and then going on and doing other stuff. So yeah, I think you've taught me how to fuel for the ride, which is amazing. Great. Feeling miserable, being, you know, just not being yourself, being kind of cranky on age with people. And um, look, I mean, I do, I do enjoy food. That is, that is my downfall. <laughs> I'll open the admit it. But um, yeah, I, I'm actually very happy with where I am now. And I think, I think it is a good way for me to sustain, to keep forward. And I kind of said to you from the off that I didn't want any major dietary changes, which I didn't. I cut out a bit of sugar, but apart from that, that that was it. So I think given the amount of changes I made to my diet to be able to lose the 5kg with minim- very, very minimal changes, yeah, I think it was a very good result. When I had a, sort of a, had a bike fit, he said, actually, what you've done is actually now amended your bike fit because now you can do the seat a little bit higher. He said, it can go lower in the front than me or more aerodynamic. So you see the aero improve. And he said, does the overall sort of shape he said, you're not sort of hunched over the bars. You're not sort of a weird shape, as he called it. So did not say that, but he said, now you look more of a knack with cyclist. So that was during like a couple of the strength thing that on the sort of the original sort of lean program, which helped me as well. It's uh, just, it was, it was good to do some back. So oh, you stretch and you do things like this and then I thought about actually strengthening to sort of uh, and to be honest, that's probably helped with my job because my job is a very physical job. I mean, I think that's something else that's worth mentioning really going into, isn't it? Because yeah. like, you, like you say, if you've missed a ride and you've, you've said to me before in messages, don't play catch up. Yeah. Don't feel like you've got to play catch up. And if you miss a ride, then trying to catch up the day after. Yeah. And things like that. And it, it is, it's a huge learning curve and it takes a long time, I think, to get over that almost all over that feeling that that's how it's got to be and i suppose just uh, trusting in the process of it of that gradual build up as opposed to yeah. aggressively training really hard for a block yeah. and then for, you need yeah. to block off really well i think you had a kind of as a podcast or one of your little daily weekly snippets that you had that, that you do there was yeah. one about talking about the games and zone yeah. two training and whoever you were talking to, and you were both talking about, you're better off being at the low end of zone two than at the higher end of zone two. You still get the yeah. same benefit, but you're still fresh at the end to carry on training the day after rather than burning yourself out. So if, if you had someone who's on the fence in terms of working with me one-to-one in the future, what would you say to them if they had any reservations? Just sign up, just bite the bullet and just sign up because you have literally, in my opinion, over-delivered on a service because of distance and things how is this going to work but it was great the service you provide is 
is world class, I would say. Remotely world class and there's been nothing that I've wanted for. And I think it was last week, proof was in the pudding was what what do I need from you? And I went, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I've everything this week, thank you. You've ticked every single box. Sit on the fence, sit on the bike and sign up. That's what I'd say.